Hello, my name is Bailey Feisner. I'm from Sanborn County 4-H. This is my 10th year in 4-H and my 10th year in chickens. Um, so today I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of the baseline of how to show your chicken. Obviously I want you to add in your own parts and make it your own. Um, but chickens are something I'm really passionate about. So I'm excited to kind of show you guys this today. This is my pullet. This is Sylvia. She's a silver phoenix. And silver phoenixes are my absolute favorite breed. breed. So you guys are getting to see my, my special ones today. Um, so a little background on me. I've been showing chickens for, oh my goodness, you're a mess. I've been showing chickens for 10 years. Um, and even before that, when I was like four or five, my cousins and my brother showed, it's a whole family thing. I'm a sixth generation chicken farmer. So um, it's always been really part of um, who I am and studying chickens is a huge part of what I do. Um, and so today I'm showing you guys a little bit about how to do chicken showmanship. Um, right off the bat, um, the biggest thing for me is always picking my chicken. Um, silver phoenixes are my favorite. I don't always use them for showmanship. This bird will not be used for showmanship this year because you can tell she's a little crazy. Um, but when I'm picking my bird, um, I like to pick out a few key things, and I just wanted to go over them real quick. Um, so I like to first off pick out a bird with errors. Um, this is something not a lot of showmen do. A lot of people pick out their best bird right off the bat. Um, I don't because then when I get in front of the judge, I can tell them what's wrong with my bird. And that makes me seem that much smarter, right? I go in front of the judge and I'm like, okay, I like this bird. I can pick it apart here and here though. Um, and so, and then I pick a bird that I can handle, right? For my little cousin, I recommend like a cushion. For me, I'm gonna pick a flightier bird, a little more difficult, so that way I can show a different level of difficulty. And then I don't show the same breed every year because I like to explore and learn about my birds. And so um, it's a really easy way to get to know your breeds is to show a different one in showmanship. And then finally, my last tip is my poultry Bible. I tell this to everyone. Um, it's the American standard of perfection. It's super easy to get a hold of one and they have everything to know about your chicken in one book. And so it's a really, really easy way um, to do really well in showmanship because it tells you exactly what you need to say and how to say it, and it makes you sound really smart. So I would recommend that to anyone doing showman. My goodness, you were so much better yesterday. Okay, so now getting started. Um, when I start with my bird, um, I'm gonna say, first off, this is my silver phoenix pullet, Sylvia. And then I start right in with the beak. So it kind of depends on your bird's comfort level. So some birds hate you touching their face. This one's actually pretty good with it. Um, but if your bird hates you touching your face, then you're just kind of gonna run your hand there and bump it. Um, so you're gonna start off with the beak. Um, so her beak is supposed to be a dark silverish color. So it looks pretty right. Um, it might need to be trimmed a little bit. And so that's something you can do with just a fingernail clipper, kind of cut along those seams. Um, that's a really easy thing to do and it is an easy way to get docked off points in showmanship so you might want to do that before you do it. This is her comb so she has a single comb. We know that there's no black spots, there's no bruising or anything like that um, and if there is just be honest with your judge. They're looking at your bird so don't lie about it. It's okay for your bird to be a little beat up. It's a natural thing for birds. Um, these are her wattles and those are really nice and red. Um, something you can know is that they're really fit to the head. So a hen shouldn't have great big wattles on her. Um, a rooster can, but a hen shouldn't. And so that's something really easy to point out that the judge is going to be like, oh yeah, she knows what she's talking about. Um, the eyes are a golden brown. Um, so they're supposed to be like a mahogany bay in color. And they should be clean and free moving. There shouldn't be anything to kind of harm your eyes. We know that the earlobe is more than 60% white. Um, so that can be a huge dock in a bird if that is not um, more than 60% white. And so we wanna make sure we note that. Um, and then their earlobes are in good condition. I mean, their ears. <laughs> um, going back down the neck and the back of the hackle, um, you wanna say the color of the feathering. So these are silver plumage dipped in black. Um, this is all from my book. Um, it says exactly what your colors are supposed to be. And so um, then going into the back, it's a silver feathery dipped in black. Um, and so it changes a little bit depending on what part of the bird you're in. 
And then we just want to note, you know, the overall condition of feathers. She's really put together. She's got really good feathers. There's no lice or mite damage. We're going to check the undercolor, and it should be a nice dark gray like that. Um, we want to make sure that there's nothing out of order in her and that she's a nice looking bird and that's something you kind of learn as you go on um, going into the tail so this is where the sickle feathers would lie if we had a rooster here and that's kind of something I always note just because then it keeps it in your mind in case you happen to have a rooster in front of you um, and so um, these are like the same coloring as before so they're that silvery feather dipped in black um, and then you've got the main tail coverets and as you can see, those get a little different in coloration as well. So these are mainly black um, with that feathering on the outside. So um, this is one of the places where you note that this bird has some issues. So as we look at this feathering, um, we note how this little patterning, patterning is really smooth. It's really clean. As we get to the outside of these feathers, it isn't. Um, so that's a really easy spot for me to tell my judge, hey, this isn't right. This is something I... <laughs> This is something I plan to correct as I'm breeding different birds and as I'm showing. Um, and so that's a really easy spot to gain those points and to honestly just gain your judge's respect. Um, so next I'm going to roll my bird maybe. Stay there. Um, and so normally birds, when you roll them, they actually kind of calm down a little bit if you can get them there. Um, a really easy thing to do now is to just kind of take some time to talk. Um, I found in the past my birds calm down when they're flipped over and they don't fly away. So I just kind of hold them here and um, I talk a little bit about the phoenix background. Um, you know, where they're originally from, how that works. Um, a typical hen weighs about five pounds and a rooster six. Those little facts that um, really put you ahead because poultry showmanship is really competitive. And it's an area that if you know what you're talking about, the judges really respect you. Um, and once again, we show that under plumage again. We want to show that it's a nice dark gray. Um, we note that the coloring of the feathering is different here again. It's white with a red out finish. Um, you know, something else that, you know, getting out of disarray in the end. Something I like to fix. Something this bird does not do very well. And so as time goes on and you're explaining it, you want to make sure that you point out those factors that knock your bird down in the show ring, but help you in the showmanship ring. Um, and now I'm going to open up the left wing. Maybe, maybe. Um, so if your bird freaks out at all, just calm down because they're birds. You can't control them. Um, and as you can see, my bird's a little nervous and that's perfectly fine. So it's okay for her to be nervous and for her to be worked up. Um, these are your primary feathers. Um, as you can see, they're almost completely... <laughs> They're almost completely all black with just a little bit of that feathering coming out in that pattern. Um, this is the axle feather. Um, when you're finding this one, just a little feather in the middle. And then we have our secondary feather. Our secondary feather is right there. Okay, that's the wing. Tuck that back in. Oh, actually, make sure you note that there's no lice or mite damage. And you can always tell that because your chicken has good feathering. Um, when they have that, it'll be kind of obvious. They'll have little like holes in their feathers and it just won't look quite right. Um, it's really important that your chicken doesn't have lice or mite damage when you come to the show because it can pass through cages really fast. So you should check your birds for that before they bring them. And then I open up the right wing. Calm down. These are the primary feathers. The axle feather again and those secondary feathers. Once again, no lice or mite damage, nothing not to cause. She's got a little bit of growth to come in on this wing yet, but she's getting there slowly but surely. Now I show the feet. And when we do the feet, you want to note all four toes. Um, you want to make sure your chicken's toes are properly trimmed up. Um, do that a couple days before the show because you can hit kind of, you can get a little deep and hit um, like the bloodline. And it doesn't hurt your bird at all. It just looks kind of messy if you show up and your bird's bleeding. Um, so we go down, this is the lower thigh, the hawk, and the shank. And then, I don't know why, but we always count out the four toes. And I would assume all your chickens have four toes, but count them out, make sure you know they're there. Um, note, this bird is supposed to have one different colored toenail. And so those are just little key things that as you get to know your bird and you get to know your showmanship, you'll figure out. Once again, the lower thigh, the hawk, the shank, um, the four toes, 
Um, all of her foot should be a lead in blue. And this is where her spurs are going to be when they come in a little more. Obviously, she is a hen, not a rooster, so they're not going to be super big ever. But it is kind of something that you can note and get that many more points for. Next, we show the vent. And it's normally pretty easy. Um, so the vent is right there. Want to note that it's clean. Um, a little hack for chicken showing if it's dirty around there, because obviously sometimes they go to the bathroom right before the show. Um, I recommend just plucking a few feathers. It's way simpler than trying to get water in there because then you get your all bird all wet and then your judge is like, why is your bird wet? Um, and then you got the fluff right here, which should be a dark gray and then come out to that like a dusting in white. Um, and then I kind of go through and I'll note some kind of things that should be right on track with this bird. So her depth of growth, so she's about this wide in her breast. And so that's um, just an easy way to say my bird's right on development. She's right where she's supposed to be. If we come back here, there's... <laughs> now this isn't required, but there's two bones um, and you kind of feel them. They can either be together or apart. Um, for a chicken that's laid an egg, they're gonna be apart. So this pullet has laid her first egg, obviously, because her bones are apart. And that's kind of just an easy way to get to know your birds that much better. I like to go through my pullets sometimes, um, especially when I'm selling them to people and they ask, you know, is my bird laying? I'll go through and double check real quick just so that way I can be honest and open with them and tell them what I need. Um, if you've ever been to the poultry barn, um, those judges have been there for typically over 40 years. And so they really love their birds and they know their birds. So um, if you're going into poultry showmanship, the biggest thing I can tell you is um, take time and learn about your bird. They love anyone who's enthusiastic about poultry and they love you getting to know them and talking to them. So um, that's my biggest recommendation. Go in, talk to the judges and ask some questions. But otherwise, thank you for listening.